I think, I think he made some mistakes with some pitches. Um, I think that watching him throw two times now, there's definitely some adjustments we can make. I like his stuff, but but I think he can use it differently to be more effective. Um, and we're going to talk about it. And I think his next time out, we're going to look to start making, not, not adjustments, we're going to use his stuff differently. Uh, use the sequences differently and, and make the balls count more. Uh, we want to have uh, purposeful balls. Okay, so I felt like today his balls were, when he threw a ball, it was not a competitive ball. We want to allow them to get the counts where they can do some damage when we threw strikes. It wasn't that made uh, Ramirez so effective against you guys. I think he faced uh, two of the minimum and six innings. His ability to throw off speed hitters counts. Um, he he threw he threw a number of one zero change ups, two zero change ups, three one change ups, and uh, we've been teaching our guys about being aggressive, and and it kind of played into his hand a little bit. Um, and and at the same time, his stuff was was good today. He did stuff so. Um, but he, he, he had the ability to throw off speed for strikes, and, and uh, when he was behind the count, it, it, it was it, we were able to, not able to square it up. Was Kevin Kramer, uh, did he bunt on his own, or is that from you? Is that something he's working on, or? Yeah, we, we, that called? we called both of those. Um, <clears throat> both of those were us. Um, he's, he's a bunt for hit guy. If he goes to the big leagues, he's going to be expected to be able to bunt for hits. Um, as he showed you on the second one, a very well placed bunt. And um, got the hit, so he he is he's working on that. He's been in the organization a few years. He's played a lot of short season all year. Off to a good start at the plate. It's good to have a guy like that. Well, it's good to see. I mean, because with all the new guys, it's good to have one of the guys that's been around a little bit doing well to kind of lead the way a little bit, show him how to do it. He's being very aggressive. He's swinging at his pitches. He's taking some tough pitches. And um, he's off to a really good start. But it, it, it's really good for us, to, for some of these new guys, to see him do that, to see how it's kind of done. So he, he's got a little bit of a feel when he's been around. But, but I'm, I'm happy for him. I'm glad he's off to the start. He's, he's off to. And uh, it makes it easy for me to put him right in the middle of the lineup. Casey Houston, another one of those guys who came in here late, didn't see him pitching no longer, got off to a tough start, finally got that hit today. You think he you know, can relax now a little bit? Yeah, he's not off to a tough start, okay? He, he's lined out a number of times. He's, he's off to a bad luck start. Um, he's actually been hitting the ball well. Now, he's got some strikeouts to go with it, and I think that is the adjustment period. But he's lined out four or five times. His first A-B lined out, he lined out hard to right field. Lined out today to the first baseman, and then uh, he had another one there, and uh, he had another one there in uh, Auburn where we just worked. So he's lined out five times. So he's actually he's squaring the ball up well. He's just not finding the hole right now. But he's swinging better than the numbers would say. But but I but I'm hoping at the same time that this sparks him. You see that Albert Bauer since last his first game. Yep. What do you like? I like I like the free I like the easiness of his swing the freeness. Um, he's got good hands. Um, he can use the whole field, um, and he has easy easy pop. Um, and it's more line drive pop right now. I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like down the road. Um, but right now it's kind of doubles pop. Um, but I, I like uh, I like the the calmness. He he doesn't panic, um, and he's never out of account. I like that about him. Coach, what happened in the first inning? The runner broke early. Was it a late communication from your infielders telling JT to step off, or did he hesitate? I mean, because he was off a good 25, 30 feet meeting. It was late communication. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I might have been the first one to yell step off, which we can't have. So, you know, but that's just getting used to playing with each other. Who's going to step up and make that call? We're going to talk about that tomorrow. Um, so it won't happen again. You know, and, and that's that's the that's the phase we're in right now. These guys are all coming in from different places. They've never played together. They're a little bit nervous because it's the first time playing professional baseball. They don't know when to say stuff. They don't want to say it at the wrong time. We need to tell them, look, it's okay. Yell, step off, okay? And it won't happen again. Next time they'll yell, step off, and that guy will be out.